Just recently, a friend of mine asked me, why did you get this bike referring to my GSX S1000? And not gonna lie, I, I thought I was ready to give him an answer, but for a second I stammered and I said, wow, like, do I, do I even know why did I get this bike? So this got me thinking, um, what outside influences, you know, took you to, to get the bike you have? What, what was the price the factor or maybe how much horsepower or torque? Uh, maybe you want to do power wheelie, so you want to get an MT-09 or FZ-09. Is it all aesthetics? Maybe just the way the bike looks? Maybe it makes you feel like, oh wow, this is a sexy bike, just thinking about a Ducati or maybe some other like high-performing super sport bike. Is maybe this is your influence? Like maybe a MotoGT team that's winning, that's the brand you want to go after because you feel, hey, this is how I get respect on the street. This is the bike like it's reliable enough because it's actually winning races. Or maybe influencers are influencing your decisions and maybe based on their opinions. It's maybe loyalty. Just thinking about maybe your family because your dad was maybe riding Harleys or maybe he was into Indians. It's maybe environment you're in. Maybe you want a super sport, but maybe a commuter is the bike that makes more sense for you. So today I want to be honest with you. 90% of the bikes, and to be more specific, of the 40 bikes that I have owned are based on a perceived notion. It's based on an emotion of the way I think the bike's gonna make me feel. As I'm getting older, I have learned that most of the times I don't need a lot of horsepower to have fun. And I also came to a conclusion that many of the bikes I own will kick my butt if I were to ride them 1010 all the time. After owning more than 20 bikes, one day I got my hand on my first Harley Davidson. When I jumped on the bike, right away I thought, oh man, this, this is comfortable. And after an hour of riding, I realized that once again, I started enjoying riding, commuting, whatever you want to call it. That's when I realized the riding position had a lot to do with it. And all of a sudden, the bike wasn't putting me in a mindset of like racing or leaning like Marquez on every corner. I just wanted to relax, enjoy the scenery, and feel connected with the bike. I mean, like, I'm not gonna write a poem right now, but to be quite honest, I mean, that's exactly what I felt. This is not only true for Harleys, I'm sure I'll have felt the same with a Moto Guzzi or Bonneville or any other bikes that are designed for racing. Don't get me wrong, speed. I mean, still what I like. I mean, I have a nitrous bike after all. I had a Turbo Zero RX. I had two ZX10 that are capable to do 100 miles in first. It's just that even after riding for 11 years, riding was becoming a little bit dull. And when you base your riding experience only on speed, you're going to have to keep that up all the time. And there are risks that are come with that. And by that, I mean, if everything is all about speed, and you don't get the urge or like the sensation or the emotion that you're riding a bike only until you are going above 100 miles per hour, then when you're not able to do it, then it, it just lost, you know, it's magic. And I, I don't think that's the way it should be. So what now? I, I just want to enjoy riding. I mean, forget about horsepower and max speed. I want to enjoy a slow commute through the mountains or maybe going to my favorite restaurant. Or maybe an occasional ride through the canyons, because I love it. Or maybe the adrenaline of drag racing, which I'm intending to continue to do. So next time, instead of saying I'm a Suzuki all the way, which I think I kind of am, I just look for the opportunity to ride other bikes. Maybe go to a demo day or, I don't know, check for a dealer that has some inventory you can actually give a try. They have some like demo bikes. Just so you can keep and get exposed to something different. Maybe you will fall in love with adventure bikes or naked bikes if you are into super sports and you don't see yourself kind of riding upright. Or who knows? I mean, sit down on a Harley, sit down on, a, on an Indian bike, and maybe let's see how that makes you feel. Don't get a bike to impress anyone. Just get a bike that satisfies your riding needs. Get it because it makes you feel good, not what satisfying other people think. So something that I need to learn still in life is... When I do something, I do it because it gives me satisfaction and I don't do it or modify what I do to make others, other people happy. I mean, in this day and age, like nobody's, I mean, you're not gonna be able to make anyone happy. And, and people have, you know, their opinions and, and 
people are pushing other people to do things that are probably not even there. I mean, they, they probably not even, they don't even probably have the guts to do it themselves. So, I mean, instead of a quest of trying to impress some other people, um, I mean, if your money is good enough for a Ninja 400, um, and or maybe you have enough money, but you feel like that's the bike you feel comfortable riding, or maybe that's the bike you want to take to your first track day, maybe that's the right bike for you. And when someone asks, hey, is that bike fast? Maybe your answer is, does it matter? I mean, it is as fast as I want it to be. I mean, like, it, it's fast enough. Who cares? Like, it, and, what it, and, and fast is so relative. What is fast? Is it fast only because I can get to 100 miles in first on my CX-10 and, and the six and the Ninja 400 can? It doesn't matter. Like, it, all that matters is what is your intended purpose for the bike and the fact that how the bikes makes you feel. So that's all I want I want you guys to think about. I mean, I I want to go I want to go away from not feeling right on Earth X or a certain bike just because I I feel like, you know, this bike is not fast enough. Cuz to be quite honest, 99% of the times when I go out riding, I don't go out racing. So I'm not looking for people to race. I'm not looking for, you know, go on a, on a brawl with someone else just because like my bike is faster than yours or yours is faster than mine. Only when I go drag racing, I care about what happens next to me. And to be quite honest, I also go to, to test and tunes and I'm not even racing the, the guy next to me. I'm racing myself. I'm just going for the, for the passion of like getting better, better at it without thinking about a lot about, you know, what other people think about how fast I am or whether or not I can break into the ninth or I can stay in the 10th for all my life. So it doesn't matter. So I hope that either I'm helping you to think about yourself in a way where you can get what you want and feel comfortable with what you can get or what you are hoping to get. And at the same time, I'm hoping that you can also respect what other people have and you're not forcing other people to do something that is not intended, that they're not intending to do, or it's not what they're looking for. So, I mean, this is all about based on respect. I just want you to know that if you are aspiring to become a motorcyclist at some point and you have no bike right now, that, so I, this is all I want you to think about. And also, if you are a seasoned rider, just let other people um, just enjoy what they have. And if you, are in the mix of kind of getting a new bike, just think about what bike is gonna make you feel happy. I mean, as long as you can afford it, of course. If if the bike that makes you happy, it's a 30 grand bike, then that's a whole nother story. Just kidding. But just um, just let people live their lives. Um, just enjoy what you have. Just go out for a ride. That's all that matters. Just go out with people that what makes you happy. Go by yourself if you wanna clear you know, your mind. Just be safe out there. Just respect other people and enjoy what you have. Be grateful for you, what you have. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, I would love for you to subscribe because I would love to continue to share more information and some other videos in the future for our entertainment. I love to help people. So if you have questions about some of the content that I have been putting out or you have any comments about what I've, what I've been doing, I'll be more than happy to kind of uh, engage with you via email or you can leave me a comment in my on the comment section below of this video, of this uh, video so thank you a lot for watching thank you a lot for giving me a, a few minutes of your time so we can chat about this and i and i hope that you have an amazing day